table and there's a growing band of people who are convinced they can go the distance this season. Mark Burchill's goal late on for Celtic earned them second place above Rangers who were 3-1 winners. It'll be a patient bunch but they're not in the main and they were subjected to more frustration on Sunday. That double chance for Andy Smith came at the start of a hard shift for the visiting defence. After just 11 minutes, that back line was exposed again. Greg Shields provided the cross, and Andy Smith was on hand at the back post to meet it. Gilles Rousset understandably outraged. The striker, though, was delighted. The cross ball from Shields was perfectly weighted. And Smith was scarcely troubled by the attentions of Lee Makel, who'd moved back into the Hearts' defence. He was the top-scoring Scot in the Premier Division, of course, last season, Smith. And, by this evidence, he's out to make an impression again. The home side were brimming with confidence now. The visitors were rattled. Richard Huxford found a gap in the melee on the 18-yard line and wasn't far away with that. Hearts were finding the going increasingly tough as the first half progressed. They simply couldn't cope with the Dunfermline side who sent 40 after 40 into their half. The build-up play here was impressive. Richard Huxford in particular deserved praise. And the shot, when it eventually came, had Rousset well beaten. Had it been a couple of inches to the right, I have to think that would have sneaked in off the inside of the post. The build-up was perfect, and Scott Thompson's strike deserved better. Dunfermline now firing on all cylinders. So into the second half, and more evidence of Hart's problems. Scott McCullough collected 45 yards out, he beat two men and after a neat one-two with Andy Smith had a clean shot at Rousset, it all looked so easy. Hearts though drew level against the odds just after the hour, Makel it was who sent Adam clear down the right, his cutback set Jim Hamilton up eight yards out, that was a cool finish. At last the Hearts strikers have been given decent service and this is what they can do when they put their minds to it. Had the visitors taken full points here, it would hardly have been just, but Hamilton could have tied things up. Naismith found a way in behind the Dunfermline defence, but the striker could only hit a shot off Butler. With 15 minutes to go, Dunfermline stepped it up again. Huxford...